brought you to a big sandwich for lunch. Lunch is back. Uh, on staff started Mike Dillman. I grew up in Ohio. I think I've been most of by now. I grew up outside of Dublin. I grew up in 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 Dublin. I grew so as some folks just said, that's what we do usually in this room. I sit down in front of whoever happens to be retired in the morning. Most of our performances are ceremonially related. And occasionally those ceremonies take us to places like the South Lawn of the White House. And when we're on the South Lawn of the White House, usually it's because somebody extremely important, like head of state, be uh, down State of Italy, who was just in town, Prime uh, Minister Trudeau from Canada came about a year ago, uh, and they're welcome with a full military review. That military review always includes the Army Band Herald Compass, the Long Compass, which is flying home, some kind of military band, whether it's the Marine Corps Band, the Army Band, the Air Force Band, the Navy Band, a whole bunch of soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and the fighting drum corps. They're there every time, and every time we're there, we pass a review in front of the president and whoever the president is honoring. And we always play the tune that we'll play for you right now. We call it Truth and Review. We occasionally play on the parade field, on the parade route, marching, but we always play on the South Lawn of the White House. There you go.
help you uh, kind of uh, elevate your technical skills and your mental toughness. Do you have any questions about that? There's another version I pass in as well. If you're an advanced player and you really want something challenging, you can play that exercise uh, to a metronome. It's pretty fun. Uh, I may even like to throw this challenge out on one of our social media outlets. Like if somebody posts a video of them playing this with the net correctly, we'll send you a special prize. Okay, so I'll uh, all on up on that. So if you guys want to send us a video, post a video of yourself playing this to our Facebook page, you can play it correctly, we'll send you a special prize. Right? Official guard pocket. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, so the next one uh, we've got here is an exercise called Flamus. Does everybody have a copy of Flamus? <coughs> the copies making around? Are you short copies or is there another? I can get you more. Okay. 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 Yeah, anybody needs copies of stuff, let us know. Okay, so Flamus is another exercise. Uh, that works on uh, some technical skills that are utilized by modern road field courts. Okay. Uh, who can name a couple of DCI courts? Okay, Blue Coats. Yeah, Pan Red Red. There you go. Yeah, Red Reds. Yeah, so that's not good. Anybody else know any? Pick that out. It's kind of where we've got a little bit of that modern influence into 
Switzerland about a year ago. So a couple weeks prior to me leaving for basic training, I was invited uh, to attend Vostok in Switzerland by uh, Master Sergeant Riley and a group of Americans. So we went over, uh, and then Specialist Marsh, uh, Marsh was there as well. And this was my first time meeting him, and it's awesome that he's been working together now. Uh, so Vostok uh, is a three-day celebration pickles and drums throughout the entire city of Boston. So my experience there, I just went as an observer. So a lot of the other Americans uh, went over to play. I strictly just went to observe and try to take in everything that I could as far as the culture, um, as far as the, the people, uh, and the music, of course, as well. So um, coming from a strictly uh, music education, music background in school, I was really trying to think about and take in all of the uh, elements as far as just listening, um, just trying to listen to the interpretation, right? So a lot of you are here from different chords. Each of your chords plays the same tunes in different ways, right? So there's also a, a nice mix between Swiss playing American style tunes, five tunes, uh, and us playing Swiss tunes. So my experience there, I was, I was taken in almost immediately by all the Swiss friends, the friendships that Mark Rowley had built up over there. I was taken right in, uh, got to meet a lot of incredible musicians, incredible world championship drummers um, who really took me and Jeremy and everybody else who was traveling for the first time under their wing and was so excited that we were there actively engaged in what they were same I feel for them when they come here that they're actively engaged and want to learn about their American movement through no tradition. Um, having a, a mentor like Mark, not only in the American sense, but also in a Swiss sense, where he goes over and plays with the best cliques of, of musicians and drummers and is well respected there, to have him here is an invaluable asset to where if I have questions about my own personal playing, I can go to him and he steer me in the right way. The influence that, that the Swiss have on us and the, with uh, the Swiss mariners and the Danish mariners, each trading those, uh, you know, those experiences each summer whenever they come over, I feel uh, does nothing but add to this continued tradition of fight and grow. Right? Uh, so I think Mark Sarai is going to uh, play and demonstrate some of these Swiss techniques, and so you're going to hear a lot of a lot of flams, a lot of rolls, and a lot of expressive dynamics. It's not just how a lot of softs and wide hands. I didn't create the musical frames. He can speak way more than I can by himself. So I'm all in. So first off, who are my folks from Connecticut? Okay. Who are my folks from New York? All right. New Jersey? The house? Virginia, nice. Tennessee, yeah. yeah. What's Massachusetts? Nice. <laughs> uh, what other states are here? Ohio, maybe? No. All right. Sweet Missouri. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, what other states? Michigan. All right. Who's from Michigan? Yeah. Sweet. Anybody else that I'm missing? Maryland. Yes. Now we're there. All right. Anyway, let's think about it this way. You play fife and drum. You, you go to rehearsal, you go to practice, and you go to camp, and you go to workshops and those things. Whether you think of it or not, you're creating a secondary family. You're creating a family of music. You're creating a family of musicians. Welcome to the next chapter of your story. You are part of an international movement that's called traditional drumming. Okay? Traditional fife and drum happens in almost every Western culture that exists. So the UK, Ireland, Spain, uh, Norway, Finland, all these places, Switzerland, all have a style like this. So history behind it. 1330s, 1332 is the oldest rope tension drum that we know we have seen in the Basel Music, uh, Basel Music Museum. It was a signaling instrument. And so the history, the history of rope tension drumming goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. 
The Americans have kept a really strong tradition, tradition as, as also the Swiss. So in American drumming, we have sevens and flams and characters.